Hi, I'm Karen Grigg. This video will help you find background information on your public health topic. When I talk about background information, I'm generally talking about a general introduction to the topic at a broad bird's eye view. Also, it could be statistics that talk about the extent of whatever the health problem is. It could be other data. Often it's best to begin with general background information to learn more about your research topic, but that general background information can be difficult to find in scholarly databases such as PubMed. It's like finding a needle in a haystack and much of the research contained in PubMed is at a very narrow specific level. Statistics and data can be difficult to find in scholarly databases as well. And it's sometimes important to get that statistical information in the early stages of your research, really to understand the depth and breadth of the health issue. Here's an example of how PubMed results can just be too specific for general background information. If your topic was diabetes and elderly people in rural areas, and you did a search with diabetes and elderly and rural areas, you might find articles such as this. And if you look at the titles of the articles on the right, they're very, very narrow. So where can you begin? Here are some tips. Think about who's likely to publish background information, statistics, and data on your topic. Might it be a government agency? Might it be a professional organization? Look at subject guides on data and statistics. Many library websites contain these specifically for public health. You may search websites to find organizations like professional um, that may have information on your topic. And one thing I often do is do a Google advanced search on my topic, but just limit it by domain. So much of this information is done by federal agencies. If you limit to just .gov, you can often find uh, reports, data sheets, statistics. Sometimes uh, faculty will publish this kind of information on university websites, so .edu can be useful. And then sometimes you can find organizational data at .org, though you have to be careful because some of the organizations have a bias or an agenda. So government agencies such as CDC and the US Department of Health and Human Services can be a uh, trove of background information that can help. There are nonprofits such as the Robert Woods Johnson Foundation you might want to check. For professional organizations, for example, there's the American Public Health Organization. Uh, also, uh, state, county, and local agencies may have background information, data, and statistics. The UNCHSL's Health Data and Statistics Guide has a lot of information on data and statistics at the state, national, and international level. As you can see, this information is organized by the state of North Carolina, the United States, and global. So you can browse through the titles and see if any of these look like they might have information on your topic. If you were looking at injury and violence uh, statistics, you might look at North Carolina injury and violence prevention data. We have um, state health facts. There are a lot of uh, resources that might be useful. And when, if you were just doing research for one state, for the state of North Carolina, for example, keep in mind that there are many of these statistics are found at the national level. It just depends on the level of the agency that's reporting the data. So you, you, there's actually county health ratings if you're looking for county information, but it's held at the federal level, so it would be helpful to go to United States. And you'll see here, we also have access to different data sets and statistical uh, information uh, globally. I'm going to show you just a few sample resources you might want to check for statistics and data. The Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation collects health data and policy decisions around the globe. So there are many data sets there. You can view visualizations for the data. And this is done by the University of Washington Department of Medicine. CDC's data and statistics have data and statistics by topic, including things like alcohol use, healthy aging, and oral health. 
If you're looking for statistics about work-related injuries or illnesses for different professions or demographic groups, you'll want to go to the Injuries, Illnesses, and Fatalities site uh, maintained by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. County health rankings and roadmaps are great. You can search and select a state and county to see a summary report of the health in that community. And it has data from multiple sources. There are several sources for North Carolina data, and these can be found on the UNC HSL's uh, public health statistics site. Uh, many people will use Healthy North Carolina uh, to look at the state health improvement plan with data on our progress towards our state health goals. And the North Carolina State Center for Health Statistics has state and county level data for a wide variety of health topics. The tip I was talking about in terms of using Google Advance to find background information and data, you would put your search term in Google Advance, put the terms at the top, and then you'll see down at the bottom, there's a box around .gov. You can search for .gov. You could search for any domain, .edu, .org. You can even look in a specific site like cdc.gov to search for information within one website. Unfortunately, you can only do one at a time. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can email me at kgrig at email.unc.edu.